this is Ellie Bierman and this is your Take 5 Tuesday. It's all about your relationship with you and who you are is a spirit whole and perfect in every way. What is your relationship with you? What exactly is your spiritual view? Do you know? When you do, your life will flow so easily. Simply let yourself be. Listen with your heart. Then you will start to hear the messages here, there, and everywhere. Your spirit talks to you constantly. The universe does too. When you learn to listen and ask, you can make light of any task and decision. You'll end all derision, cause you will always, in all ways, make the choice that suits you best. You brighten your world, live your days filled with zest for living, for receiving, for giving. Your spirit knows all, past, present, and future. It's your guide and your teacher helps you reach your dreams to live your very excellent life free from worry free from strife in abundance and joy enjoy 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 live free from worry free from strife live in abundance live in joy enjoy Enjoy, enjoy. You see, your spirit, your higher self, is not part of your physical being. It's like the observer that Deepak Chopra talks about. It's the pilot of the soul. Who you are is immortal. And that part of you knows everything that's happened in your past, that's happening now, that will happen in your future. So when you need to make a decision, when you need to make a choice, all you have to do is ask your higher self, ask your spirit, is this in my highest interest at this time? And you will always get an answer. However, to learn how to get in touch with your spirit, takes some practice and it might take some time. One shortcut way to do it, many people use a pendulum. You can use muscle testing. I like to do a way where I can just go inside and ask and feel the answer because you know what? I don't always wear things with pockets so I can't carry a pendulum. I used to wear a necklace all the time that I could take off and use as a pendulum but I don't wear jewelry all the time so that didn't work so I had to find another way to do it. Yes, there are physical ways using different muscles. And I want to be able to do it while I'm driving. So I want to be able to just ask a question and feel the answer. Because sometimes I don't know which way to go and I might appear to be lost. I know we never really get lost. And I ask, well, which is the best route to take? Is it this route? Always asking a question that gives a yes or no answer because that's what my spirit can reply with. So getting in touch with your spirit is really a simple process and it's something you will be able to do when you do it every day. So it's with persistence and consistency that you form a new habit and you can oops, form the habit of being in touch with your higher self. That allows you to tune in to the metaphysical world where your reality of what's going to happen in the future is unknown. So what's best for you to do now, you might think you know the answer, and whatever your thoughts are, they are coming from your awareness, which is controlled by your ego mind. 
and your ego mind serves to keep you safe. It doesn't necessarily serve to allow you to grow. In fact, it doesn't want you to grow and change. So to be able to know how to communicate with your spirit, to know the answer your spirit's giving to you, makes all the difference. You will never ever make a choice that can hurt you. I mean, in the long run. Some of our choices lead us to learn lessons. And sometimes those lessons are painful. And by growing through the pain, seeing where the gift is, we get to evolve on a soul level. So learn how to get in touch with your spirit for clear communication. Just as a for instance, I went in the health food store yesterday to buy a particular protein shake that I needed to serve certain purposes. So first thing I do is I just look over the shelf and see which are the ones that are natural, preferably which are raw, and then I just take them down and I ask my spirit, this is in my highest and best interest. And then I came down to two brands. And then at that point I said, this is the optimal product for me to buy at this time. And I had a clear choice of one over the other. It's a lot better than guessing like I used to do. And I'd take something home and it might be okay for a few days and then I'd start to feel not so great. And then I'd recheck the ingredients and after a while found I was allergic to some ingredient that's frequently in natural food products I didn't even know I was allergic to. So by asking my spirit in the first place, is this in my highest and best interest to use this product at this time? because we do change daily, weekly. I got the accurate answer, so I didn't have the chance experiencing any kind of allergic reaction. Learn how to talk to your spirit, because your spirit, here's the other piece of that, your spirit talks to you, constantly sends you messages of what's the wise path to take. If you're trying to figure out the solution to a question, your spirit might have somebody across the room from you reading a newspaper and the headline that you see that's on the back because they're holding the paper like this and you're seeing what's back here, those words might be exactly what you need to resolve some kind of situation happening in your world. You might overhear just a snippet of a song. It's your solution for something else going on for you. The universe talks to you constantly. Your spirit talks to you constantly. And until you know how to listen, how to recognize the messages in whatever form they come, you're going to miss out on all this stuff. And when you really need to make a major change in your life, which most of us want to, because even when you live a really, really great life, you know what? You can live your very excellent life. You can live in optimal, radiant health, even if you live in super health now. There's always a way to make it even better than what it is now. So you want to hear the whispers of the universe so it doesn't have to get loud and yell at you and cause some kind of catastrophe or injury or major commotion. Listen with your heart rather than your ego mind. So if you hear some chattering going up in there and it's evaluating what's going on in your world, that's your ego mind. I call it your little voice. It's your busy little annoying, controlling, critical voice. It's not you. It's not your spirit. Your spirit always, 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 and in all ways, tells you what's in your highest and best interest. It is always accurate. Never make a mistake. And when you talk to your spirit, when you talk to the universe, when you listen for the answers, you will never, ever go wrong. You won't have to struggle anymore. It will allow you to enjoy your life. And when I'm seeing the words enjoy, I'm talking about... Can you see that? Do with your life. Enjoy. Enjoy it. And know... The true meaning, what's in here? Enjoy your life. Take it in. Because whatever is inside of you creates your outside world. You don't live in the world as much as the world lives 
in you and anything and everything going on in your outside world is a reflection of what's happening in here and in here.